There are a variety of functions that can be used in R to read in data frames from different types of files. Um, and in fact, R comes pre-installed with a number of functions, uh, the most commonly used one being read.csv. I will encourage you in this class not to use the default functions that come with R, but rather to use the functions that come with uh, some of the tidyverse packages for a variety of reasons. Uh, for example, the read underscore CSV function always will read in strings as characters and not as factors, which is different from the read.csv function and will save you from a lot of headaches down the road from errors that get introduced when you work with factors. Another advantage of the read underscore CSV function is that if your variables have, or the variable names have spaces in them, uh, read underscore CSV is totally fine with that, whereas read dot CSV will force uh, periods in place of any character that it doesn't like. So if it's a space, uh, or I think even a dash, it'll replace that with a dot. And so you often don't know what exactly to expect uh, when you load it in using read dot CSV. And probably most importantly, read underscore CSV is dramatically faster than read.csv. So as you are later, you know, working with bigger data sets later in class, there is a dramatic difference that you'll note using read underscore CSV. So I would encourage you not to even use R as base functions, but to use these functions instead. Uh, read underscore CSV comes with the reader package, as does read underscore delim, which is pre-installed with tidyverse. If you're working with SAS files, um, which is another language for working with, um, for doing statistics. Uh, there's the read underscore SAS function. For the NHANES data, you'll notice that that was actually in a .xpt format, which is a type of SAS file format, which is for transferring SAS data. And so it's referred to as the SAS export format. So the read underscore XPT function works for that. Stata data, um, is typically .dta files, so you use read underscore dta. SPSS is another type of statistical computing package, which you can read in data sets using read underscore SPSS. And finally, you can read in Excel files using read underscore Excel from the read Excel package. Importantly, the Haven packages and read Excel packages are pre-installed with Tidyverse, but they're not libraried in, so you actually have to library them in directly. And all of these function will read in files as tibbles, um, which functionally doesn't really matter for now, but I will encourage you to get kind of stick within these functions as opposed to using other functions that you might come across for reading in these same types of data elements and data frames. We already talked a little bit about the differences between tibbles and data.frames, but I just, I'll just mention that anytime I talk about data.frames, I'll actually say the dot out loud to let you know that I'm talking about the specific data structure known as a data dot frame. When you use the data function to pull in data, as we did with the NHANES package, the data is typically brought in as a data dot frame. Some of the key restrictions of data frames or data dot frames rather are, is that variable names cannot contain spaces, although there are some other restrictions as well. Tibbles are effectively like data.frames in almost every way, uh, except there are some minor differences. Um, the reason they're called tibbles is that if you are working with a tibble and you use the str function to look at its structure, when it first tells you what type of object you're looking at, you'll see in its class, uh, which is just a way of saying what type of object is it, you'll see the phrase tbl. And so as a result of that TBL, um, the writers of the uh, tidyverse package refer to these as tibbles. I'll usually use these terms, um, I'll usually use the term data frame interchangeably to refer to both of these because for all intents and purposes, they're the same. But you might notice minor differences when you're working with data when it's in the data.frame format versus when it's in the tibble format.